Like, if you really don't know what to get someone, just get them cash. They can get their own gift, and that's all that matters, because you technically got them that gift, but without the disappointment, because you didn't pick it, they got to pick it. Hey guys, it's Sharon. I feel like this year literally flew by then again like majority of the year was spent in a pandemic and is still in a pandemic so I guess that makes sense but still can't believe I'm already making my Christmas slash holiday Xmas whatever you want to call it videos last year I gave you 55 gift ideas for a teen girl that you might give for Christmas and this year I'm giving you 60 more if you need some gift ideas or just ideas I want to put on your wish list I got you sis and that's the whole point of this so if you want to see more videos like this give us a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below if I don't name something that you're looking for or that you would like, go ahead and feel free to comment that down below. Give each other some ideas. We love that. Make sure to follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter so you can have a see my videos just like this one. And of course, you can always subscribe for more if you want to see more. I will be making Christmas holiday related videos all month long and this is the first one so I'm very excited about that. So go grab your little notes, your pencils, and let's get into this. I tried my best to split this into categories and the first one I want to talk about is just like decor. And of course, number one thing I'm always going to say is just lights. Like I I have fairy lights back here. LED strip lights are very common. Also, that thing that went viral on TikTok that's like a galaxy light where it's like this little projector that you turn it on and all of a sudden your room literally looks like the night sky. I feel like you cannot go wrong with lighting. It's just so trendy. It's so aesthetic and it's so pretty. I feel like candles are always a great way to go. And the reason I say that is because like your five senses, smell, that is such like an important sense and I feel like it is so important to have a nice smelling environment and a nice smelling room especially in the holiday season when they have like gingerbread or like vanilla sugar cookie or like Christmas cookie or whatever like yo y'all are missing out if you do not love seasonal candles so that is definitely on this list if you don't like candles or lighting matches or having that little smoke residue another great thing is also diffusers or just like essential oils or those things that like spill essential oils you know like you still get the nice smell and the nice aroma but you don't have to like light anything on actual fire I own so many of these. I don't know why, but also I do know why because I love them so much. That is blankets. I feel like you can never go off a cozy blanket, especially during like the winter time because it's just so cold outside or it's supposed to be cold outside. I live in Florida. And you just want to feel all cozy and warm and comfortable. Like I love me some blankets. Another great thing that I think is a good idea is wall art or just any art in general because I feel like you can be so personal with those things. And wall art can be anywhere from like this little board to like a poster of a band you really like or like a whiteboard or something. Now, if you are a fan girl or just like someone that's really into pop culture or whatever, I think things that you can collect are a really great idea, like Funko Pops. I feel like if you have like a fangirl in life or you are a fangirl, there are so many Funko Pops for everything. Like I literally saw one of like Shawn Mendes and I was like, hold up, they do that? So now you know. Another thing is lounge flies and I've recently learned about all those. Those are like book bags or wallets or purses and they all have different themes. A lot of them are like like Disney or there's like Star Wars or there's like Harry Potter. So if you're into that stuff and you love bags and just having little cute accessories, I think that's very great. And they're also owned by Funko and Funko I think is such a great company for like just fanboys, fangirls, and just pop culture lovers. This one I feel is so obvious and that is merch. Whether it's like merch from your favorite band, your favorite YouTuber, your favorite artist, whatever. Like there is merch for everything and there's also so much custom merch too. Like you can probably hop on like eBay or Etsy and find custom things too that's not like ads popular as it may be you know so it's even more special you can also get cameos which <laughs> I do have a cameo profile if you want a video shout out so cameo is like this little app where you can get video shout outs from influencers celebrities singers all that good stuff you just pay their fee you send them a message you're like hey can you say hi to blah 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 can you answer this question can you give me a birthday shout out literally anything that you want and you have like a little video message so I think that's really cute just giving like someone a video of their favorite person ever this is kind of a catch-all so this will be like CDs vinyls DVDs all that good stuff. I know a lot of music nowadays is like on your phone like it's just digital but CDs and vinyls are so freaking cute and you could even like frame those and hang them up on your wall. They're like a great collectible thing. Great for a music lover. Now clothes. I feel like you can never ever go wrong with hoodies especially in the winter and the best part about hoodies is there's hoodies for just about anything. Like if you are a fangirl you can get merch that's hoodies or you can just get hoodies from your favorite movie or your favorite like artist your favorite brand and hoodies are 
just so comfy like the easiest outfit ever too another super comfy and easy outfit are like sweatpants or joggers another great lazy day thing is super great for keeping cozy you can never go wrong with those and again there's even like certain designs for stuff like that or even just comfy pajama pants really I feel like when you get older you really start to appreciate socks so I am gonna say socks but I'm also gonna say shoes like maybe there's a really nice pair of shoes you've always wanted now is the perfect time to ask for them especially with all these deals going on I love the idea of personalized gifts so instead of just saying shirts I want to say like custom shirts like you can literally hop on like those like design a shirt and it'll be super unique and I feel like it's just a very personal present <laughs> as for accessories number one would be scrunchies and maybe that's just me because I do have really long hair I love scrunchies especially like the little velvet scrunchies and I mean I think it's the best trend to come back also another thing that I've noticed that has come back from like 90s early 2000s are like the little butterfly hair clips I feel like that's also good or just like any little bobby pin nice cute little hair clips just hair stuff in general also just leaning off the hair stuff you know it's really good a hot airbrush too I stopped using my straightener because I got a hot airbrush so it's like a hair dryer that straightens my hair at the same time I mean genius you can never go wrong with skincare and it is so important to find the right skincare products you can go as far as asking for like a whole line of products like I'm talking like cleanser or toner like moisturizer type of stuff or you can just ask for like a different variation like maybe some face masks you can try and test things out and see what works for you best but I, I just love skincare stuff jewelry mainly like rings and earrings and bracelets even or just necklaces if you want to too I feel like earrings and rings the most because you can always switch them out and I feel like it's like the great little touch on any outfit I mean all I ever wear is my class ring but still I love necklaces and chokers and I especially love the necklaces that are like your name like your custom name on it or even like astrology necklaces that are like Gemini or like Virgo or Aries or whatever I think those are so freaking precious and again they're really also very personal as for tech this is gonna be another catch-all too and that is like any new game console whether it's like a ps5 a Wii a Nintendo a switch you can play Animal Crossing I mean the options are pretty wide for all of this once again another catch-all that is anything Apple <laughs> like whether it's an Apple Watch, AirPods, a new phone, a new Mac, like Apple has so many freaking options and always has a new phone every single year. So bouncing off of phones, you can also get custom phone cases. So this is not sponsored, but I have worked with them before. That is Casetify. You can literally design your own phone case on there. Or you can also check Etsy. Again, I love that it's very personal and it's very unique and it's very you. You can get a record player for your vinyls. You can get a shower speaker. You can get like a CD player, like anything that plays music. Maybe if you would like to start making YouTube videos too or you're into photography you can ask for a camera it could be any type of camera it could be a vlogging camera a disposable camera a Polaroid camera I think it is so cute especially for memories now for beauty so I did of course mention like skincare stuff you can also get other type of skincare stuff other than just for your face and I mean that by their like foot peels butt scrubs they're like boob scrubs like there are so many things where you can just like treat yourself and treat your body just bath products some fancy new soap like there are soaps that are actually really good for like acne, for example or there's even soaps for like your downstairs area too <laughs> or just bubble bath <laughs> I would say just makeup from Sephora or like Ulta but I think it is just easier to ask for gift cards to those places because that way you can go in and pick and choose versus having to deal with someone possibly getting you like the wrong shade for example I feel like the one makeup thing that you can never go wrong with is lip gloss everyone loves some gloss like that gloss needs to be popping I feel like the other little makeup item that I think is also very popular are like palettes and palettes again you can ask for just eyeshadow palettes from a specific brand a specific person influencer musician I've seen palettes of like Spongebob again the opportunity is endless this one's gonna be entertainment and the first one I'm gonna say is not sponsored again but I have worked them before that is audible audible is a great subscription to have for like audiobooks and podcasts and exclusive series if you're really into that stuff honestly like any streaming which is gonna be like Netflix Hulu Disney plus those are great they probably have some holiday deals going on too of course for music there's Spotify and Apple music I do love Spotify because they make like personalized playlists so but you do uses like again so many subscriptions basing off the camera if you do want to start making YouTube videos or even like TikToks or Instagram photos whatever you can ask for equipment like a tripod you can ask for like a ring light maybe like a little Bluetooth remote so many different things you can even get like a tripod for your phone too so you don't even have to actually go out and use a camera already and piggybacking off of that editing software whether it's just 
is like Photoshop so you can edit your photos or just like maybe Final Cut Pro X which is what I used to edit some videos. Like Adobe has a great selection of apps that you can use. Now this is just going to be different types of money. That moolah. Coffee. So either Starbucks or Dunkin. Whichever one you prefer or they prefer. Can't go wrong with that. Everyone loves some coffee and if you don't love coffee there's Frappuccinos and teas. Sis. There's more. <laughs> Super easy. An Amazon gift card. I feel like Amazon has everything and if it's not on Amazon I don't think you'll ever find it. <laughs> or you can just ask for a gift card to a specific store like your favorite store ever. For example if you're really into pop culture like Hot Topic would be a great store to ask for stuff because they have like so much like band merch and just like Disney stuff, Star Wars, all that stuff. This one is a very generalized one which is just the Visa gift cards which you can just like be like hey here's $30 on this gift card spend it wherever the heck you want. Or if you don't want to do the gift cards I mean the easiest one cash. Like if you really don't know what to get someone just get them cash okay they can get their own gift and that's all that matters because you technically got them that gift but without the disappointment because you didn't pick it they got to pick it so there you go this is just some fun stuff and y'all are gonna judge me I know but I think books are so fun books on your like your favorite topic like your favorite series or even just like adult coloring books like I just love books there are even like celebrity memoirs out there or just like even magazines with like your favorite celebs on the cover too puzzles or games are really fun also just like murder mystery games too I mean you can't really go wrong with any type of game that being said board games or card games like cards against humanity or even uno you could do twister monopoly all the classics checkers chess whatever or of course if you're into the digital world you know video games so many options and if you're very crafty and artsy you can always ask for new art supplies whether it's like new paints new brushes new canvases I don't know sis you have so many artsy stuff available now this one's a little bit more on the girly side so this is some girl stuff ask for a period kit or get someone a period kit especially if they haven't had their first period or even period underwear like if you don't want to wear pads tampons or a cup you can try period underwear or maybe you want to try a cup so you can ask for a menstrual cup too another thing that I think is wonderful is period swimwear so you don't have to use a tampon or a cup if you don't want to while you're going swimming and of course overall a period guide like if you feel embarrassed asking someone about your period like there are books out there there's me <laughs> this is kind of more of a post COVID thing you can ask for so that would be future concert tickets and along with that I would also say future meet and greet tickets like if there's someone you really want to meet someone you really want to see in concert be like okay y'all so I know times are tough right now but when this happens like here's my rain check for Christmas okay okay you can also do with a trip to somewhere you've always really wanted to go you trying to go to like California be like okay y'all so remember that Christmas when I said yeah I just want to go to California I'm gonna cash that in right now you know you can also visit some family and friends that you haven't seen this year because of COVID and I feel like that one's really sweet so but of course this is all gonna be post COVID you know so hopefully Miss Brown has gone very soon and lastly of course I mean like I live in Florida so I can't not say this amusement park tickets whether it's like Disney or Six Flags whatever parks you have near you or maybe in some other state you would like to go to amusement parks are always so freaking fun this is just some random things in case you still haven't found something you like you can ask for a day off from like chores or a day off from doing something like you know those little coupon books I feel like you can be like okay hey parents like I want this so next time you ask me to do the dishes I can give you this coupon and be like I'm not doing the dishes you know like make it fun and make it creative you could even ask for dinner from your favorite restaurant or just for like someone to make you your favorite meal because you can never go wrong with food food is always such a great present you can also even just ask for a donation to a charity or a cause that you really care about too if you want to treat yourself and want someone to treat you I mean a shopping spree sounds pretty fun too and lastly I feel like this is probably the easiest best one with the most power that is a day of whatever the heck you want so if you got someone that's willing to give you that you win sis because I feel like that just sounds like the best present ever but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give us a thumbs up if you have your own gift ideas comment that down below I want to know what you're asking for this year too so let me know like I mentioned I did make one of these last year so if you want some more inspiration definitely go check that one out I mean I feel like a lot of that stuff is still trendy and still like relevant anyways so I got you you got over 100 gift ideas sis and with all the comments I'm sure you'll find something now shout out the day goes to DD on Instagram thank you so so much if you would like to be shout out the day just follow me on my Instagram and stay active and of course like I mentioned I will be making Christmas slash holiday related videos all month long so definitely make sure you're around for those and you can binge my little vlog mess series from last year in the meantime too but all that being said definitely subscribe and I'll see you guys next time bye